dogs in the world. Adorable? Absolutely. But for these wide-eyed, droopy-eared beagles, not everything is as it seems. Hi, baby. Life just got better. Unloaded one by one, these dogs were once only known by their tattooed ID number. And that's because you're watching a once-in-a-lifetime rescue operation. Next up. Who's next? 4,000 beagles have been spared a life as test subjects for medical research around the globe, a practice still extremely common. Where does this rescue and relocation effort rank among some of the operations that you guys have handled over the years? I don't think most of us have ever seen approximately 4,000 dogs in one case, so this is huge. It's historic. NBC News was invited inside the facility on the day 233 of these dogs arrived. It's a Herculean rescue effort a long time in the making. Last year, PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, went undercover at Invigo, a massive breeding and research facility in Cumberland, Virginia. Our investigation found that famished nursing mother dogs were deprived of food for up to two days, that animals were being hosed in cages with high pressure cold water, that puppies were dying by the hundreds. Of PETA reported their findings to the USDA, citing Animal Welfare Act violations. And this past May, the Justice Department got involved, securing the surrender of thousands of dogs. In Vigo, declined an interview with NBC News, but their parent company, Innative, said in a statement it had reached a settlement with the DOJ and the USDA. The agreement states the company will not have to pay any fines or penalties, nor is it an admission of liability or wrongdoing. The facility will shut down once all 4,000 dogs have been removed. This may be hard to believe, but this is about the only and first human interaction these puppies have had. And hopefully it will not be the last. Temporarily housing this many dogs takes a makeshift village of kennels. Leading the charge is senior manager of animal care, Katie DeMay. Currently we have volunteers and staff in this building from all over the country. Why was it so important for you guys to kind of share this slice of their journey? Sure, it's important so people can see what goes into a mission of this scale. The Humane Society says these dogs will soon travel to rescue and shelter partners across the country to be put up for adoption. A massive operation and twist of fate for these dogs now on the way to the lives they deserve.